Return to a simpler time. Return to the center beacon. I'm back. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a long-awaited episode of The Center Beacon, my return video, my triumphant return video after a year-long hiatus. Now, many of you have speculated why I was gone so long from the game. The internet was basically ablaze with wild rumors, ranging from things like that I had started a chicken farm in Australia, I had died, become an Uber driver, colonized Mars, and my personal personal favorite, invented the 27th letter of the English alphabet, and was forced into hiding because the world just wasn't ready. Now, of course, not all of that is true, as some of you know. Basically, it was just a case of real life jumping up and biting me in the ass. I basically changed jobs, IRL, and it was a position that they don't select everyone who applies for. You really got to compete. There's a lot of competition, so I really had to focus. Had a lot of family stuff going on and just really kind of needed to clear out all of my diversions and different things that I was into at the time, including, sadly, YouTube, this channel, and the game, my favorite game right now, and has been for a long time, War Robots. I basically had to dump all that stuff, and I had to focus on the actual, you know, things that were really important at the time, the things that uh, helped me take care of my family and my children and kind of get us where we needed to go, and I did that. I was successful. Now I've got some free time again, and so I'm back to what I really enjoy doing, and that's playing this game, War Robots, and spending time with all of you, helping people figure out things about the game, what's good, what's not. Mostly, though, just providing entertainment, really. Really. If I can inform a little bit, that's great. If you haven't seen my channel before, I try to always uh, at least inform, entertain, or both. A lot of the other awesome uh, YouTube creators out there that deal with this game are really talented. They're super good at what they do. They do really in-depth, detailed videos. Uh, I don't do that. It's too much work. So mostly what I focus on is just kind of playing the game, having fun, and hopefully uh, making you guys laugh once in a while. That's that's mostly what this channel is focused around. That's going to be the direction that we'll be moving in the future. There's a lot of creators out there right now that focus on this game and other games, and they can give you all that nitty-gritty detail stuff. Um, we'll do that for sure. Uh, we're going to look at things like the new Titan developments, things like this that are affecting games. Gameplay. We're certainly going to jump into all of that, but we're not going to get so deep in the weeds that we kind of lose sight of why we're doing this in the first place, and that's basically to have fun. It allows me to have fun, it allows you guys to have fun, and I think you get something here that maybe you don't get in other places on other channels. And so hopefully I can just kind of add like a little piece to that jigsaw puzzle of your daily life where you can watch a video, you know, here and there. I'm not really concerned with uh, subscribers, views, all that, uh, all the metric bullcrap that comes with YouTube. I never really cared about that stuff that much, and I certainly really don't anymore. Honestly, I'm frankly really tired of the way YouTube does everything. The algorithms, uh, you basically become like a slave to these things. So you're not going to get videos every single day from me. You're not going to get videos nine times a week, uh, twice a week. Uh, you might not get one once a week just because uh, my job, my schedule, my family, time permitting, I'm busy, you're busy, and you don't really need to hear from me on a daily basis anyway. So I'm just going to kind of cover what interests me, things I discover, any kind of help I can provide, tips or whatever, I'll throw it in there. But unless something really kind of piques my interest, uh, you're not going to get a video. I'm not going to waste your time. And I am certainly not interested in putting up videos for video's sake. I've always hated that. I've never done it in the past. I'll never do it now. We don't do clickbait. We don't do any of this stuff at this channel. And if any of you people have actually followed this channel for any length of time, you know that we've never been about that sort of thing. So what are we doing with this video? This video is going to be relatively short. I'm going to play some games, going to have a good time. Basically, I've spent the last several months kind of getting to know the game again, as I said before. Four. There's been a lot of changes. I haven't played in basically like a year up until the last couple, two, three months. I've been kind of dipping my toes back in the water here, kind of getting a feel for things again, building up a competitive hangar. Uh, we've added things like pilots, modules, pilot skills, all this uh, really kind of deep stuff that they didn't have when I quit playing about a year ago. I think when I quit playing about a year ago, we had uh, modules 
had just come out. And then, like I said before, things got too hectic and I kind of had to step away from all of my little diversions. But now that I'm back, I've, I'm really interested in the game. I actually really like a lot of the things that they've done. Um, yeah, there are still problems. Any game, you know, show me one without flaws. And I don't think you're going to be able to do that. So, you know, I still love this game. Uh, warts and all, it's still uh, one of my all-time favorite games. I really enjoy playing it and I really like a lot of the new content. And I've had a lot of fun just trying to like, you know, collect like the little pilots. They're like baseball cards to me. You know, it makes me uh, kind of feel like a kid again, collecting the little the little pilots, like my favorite baseball players. Trying to get on top of the module situation, leveling pilot skills, the new robots, the new weapons, finding out, you know, what the new meta is for the hangers, for the bots, for the builds. So I've spent the last couple of months doing that. Kind of got a semi-competitive hanger. Still don't have everything I'd like. Don't score as well as I would like to. However, uh, having a blast with the game really like the depth that it almost kind of strikes me as a more RPG style play now with the pilots and kind of figuring out do I really want a legendary pilot you know for that for that particular robot is he necessary or should I go with like a vanilla pilot just kind of really giving the player a lot of options on what they use and how they use it which is in my opinion always a good thing so again it's me it's warlock aka the center beacon back with you and uh, let's not waste any more time let's go so as you can see, it's been a little while since I've played. This was my previous meta hanger. This once dominated the battlefield and struck terror into the hearts of all my enemies. I'm just kidding. This is just a uh, placeholder hanger. Let's go to my real hanger. It's my real hanger. You can't see it right now, but I'm petting the screen. This is what I've managed to build up over the last several months of trying to catch up to all the new stuff. Apparently leeches are a thing. That's new. Uh, flying dragons that go into stealth mode and are super annoying. Those are uh, also a thing. You need lots of those. Got my little phantom there. I love that thing. I think that's an awesome little bot. It reminds me of the Gepard. I know people hate it when I pronounce it Gepard. Some people say Jepard. It's a Jepard, mate. I don't know what it's called, but I used to like those things. They had three light weapons. This one gets uh, two light weapons and a medium on top. Uh, super fast, nimble, blinks in, blinks out, does all kinds of stuff. I love it. Uh, I wouldn't mind having two or three of those honestly got a tier the healing thing is cool at first i hated healing i thought like you know i worked so hard to damage robots and take people out of the game and then they're just healing it back but it's kind of fun i like it because i like helping my teammates so i run the tier so i can kind of heal them up and it's like hey everybody get in the green circle of healing awesomeness so i enjoy that and it scores your points too so it makes me look like i'm a better player than i actually am and then i got the fenrir i am um, big sucker big sucker for anything norse viking related those are my peoples that's where i hail from uh originally you know like 2000 years ago so i like the fenrir uh, the, honestly these uh last two slots in the hangar the uh, Tyr and the Fenrir, those guys get changed out all the time for other stuff as I just kind of figure out what's good, what works for me, what works for my play style. Honestly, a lot of these bots are great. I just can't make them work as well as others can. So those two slots on the right there, they kind of rotate in and out as I look for different different builds to support my play style where I can kind of kind of play the the best that I can. I can be the best player that I can be. So again, in this video, we're just going to run some games. We're going to mess around. We're going to see how we do. And in future videos, we're going to focus more on certain builds, counters to meta dominant bots. Uh, we're going to deal with the whole Titan thing and uh, get into some of the details uh, that you might be interested in, in uh, building your own hangers and dealing with the changes that just seem to come down the, the turnpike here all the time in the game. Every update, we get something new that we got to contend with. So I'm going to kind of play through it, and you'll kind of play through it with me as I go. Uh, we'll kind of circle together and uh, make the most of it. So we're just running some domination here. Usually on a map like this, we'll start with the Phantom. Uh, we're running anti-control, and we are running the last stand modules on here. I've got the legendary pilot for it, but I do not have all of the skills that go along with it, so I'm not going to do quite as much damage or stay alive quite as long as I would like. Looks like we got a little Treb Butch back there. And we got whatever this thing is. He's got a shield and some lightning. We're going to work up on him. I don't really care about this beacon. I'm going to try not to... Uh, get zapped by that butch. Let's see here. Let's use this again. I did that with the uh, 
whatever you call that stealth thing, just so that guy couldn't zap me. This guy's got a calamity on this little guy. It's a lot of firepower in a little bot. Let's see what's going on over there. I'm just going to go ahead and eat those. I don't really care. I'll run up on this guy. I know I got a guy shooting me from the other side. I just kind of want to get this guy off the field. I do not have the shot grouping. I really want the shot grouping for that pilot. Uh, really good stuff on that. Guy put his shield up. Whatever. Still alive, frankly. Pretty surprised. Got taken out by some annoying rockets. Super annoying. Uh, next up, let's run the leech. Try to get some firepower here going. Go back and see if I can get old Don Shada there. Got the Quantum Raider on here just because I got the range. A lot of times when the AO Junes fly up in the air, I like to be able to uh, nail those dudes. Leech onto this guy. He went uh, purple shield. Don't really care about the beacon. We got a four cap. Got uh, got that guy up there. He looks yummy. Got a big piece of him. Just gonna leech onto somebody so I get the uh, defensive benefit here. Gonna back up out of there. Come here. Oh, that's terrible when you get taken out by the uh, Spectre Vortex. It's such a camper bot. It's just it's uh, terrible sitting up there on the roof of this thing the whole time. You know, his team is, uh, they're down four beacons to one. He's not really helping anybody, so whatever. That's what you get when you run solo. You get a lot of that. Just going to make my way around here, uh, go to their spawn, win in this game pretty readily. So, got our uh, teammates are doing pretty good. I'm going to save my special ability here so I can actually get a kill with it. Got glaciers on this guy, phase shift, and last stand, but it's not leveled up very, very highly. It's low level last stand. I really like the glaciers. They do a lot of damage. I'm going to phase shift and get out of this uh, hellacious crossfire. Mm, 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 mm. That was terrible. Purple shield of death. Let's see if we can land inside this guy's shield. shot in the rear end right there by this guy. I love this AO June, as you can tell. I don't play very well, but it uh, makes a big difference in how I play. Also, too, I'm traveling, so my internet connection is really crappy. So if you see things happen and it's like, why doesn't he react to that? It's because there's a little bit of a delay. Gonna roll with the tier. A lot of times if I'm playing team play, in a squad, I'll run this first. Oh my god, is that a Natasha? Yes! I love it. I love it. Oop, that's not what I meant to do. I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I got a lot of people here that don't like me. I'm such a nice guy. Try to heal up here for a second. Get clobbered with missiles for some reason. Nope, didn't work out. 
Got a little fin rear here. I'm gonna go back to the left just because I kind of feel like it's my responsibility. Fenrir, I got the uh, Viper, assorted other goodies. I'll let him eat the shield there, finish him off. Kill was stolen. This thing shoots snowballs. I'm not sure uh, how effective those are. Let's go fast. This is almost over. Actually, the beacons swung back in their favor, so it might actually prolong this game a little bit. We'll get a little more damage out of this. Be a AO gong. And shoot him up a little bit. Uh oh. Uh oh. This isn't nice. Look at this. This isn't nice. Yikes. Let's death mark that guy. Do some more damage, right? This is terrible. Getting ruined right here. I suppose we could actually lose this game if I'm not careful. I'm down to my last bot. We're getting overrun. It looks like some of our dudes bought it out here. Titan Slayer. I better go kill this guy. Throw in a heal. Do a reload. Not looking good for uh, old Sunder Beacon here. Double kill. He stole our beacon, so we're going to need that back. Apparently, there's only three of us left here. Help this dude cap this beacon, and then we'll run over here real quick. This could end, but they're four capping us, so this might, might prolong here. He's got a Loki or something, it looks like, so we could probably get both of these beacons up here. It's just me and you, buddy, and some other guy who's in a bad way over there. Oh, did we do it? Did we do it? Oh, that was so close. So close. Let's see how we did. If you're wondering what that little blue uh, half moon thing is in the lower left-hand corner of the screen, I'm using a controller to play this game. And uh, I just, I've never liked on-screen controls. I have really large hands, and you know what that means. Um, I wear really large gloves. Uh, a controller is just easier for me, allows me to play longer. So it looks like we did uh, 1.7, which is like, meh. I found that I can't really deal all the damage that I would like to, like my squad mates do, uh, clan members. Uh, mostly due to uh, the lack of last stands being leveled up. And maxed out, super important on those. And the pilot skills. Pilot skills add tons of damage if you scroll through those things. It's unreal how much damage they add. Um, makes a huge difference. So those are the two areas where I'm kind of lacking. See how the team did. Uh, team did pretty good. You see old uh, Rondan01 over there got eight beacons. I'm willing to bet that was that Loki. Probably running beacons, um, so uh, we kind of pulled it in. Uh, I should say pulled it out there at the end. Uh, the other team was pretty well stacked. You can see they had plenty of damage going there. Uh, everybody scored a milli or better, and uh, we we just barely squeaked that one out. Now, uh, to make excuses, as I like to do for my own play, there were some beacons in there that I should have capped that I just kind of let alone because I was more interested in running these bots, these builds, these configurations. So, my bad. But uh, in the beginning of that game, we were really kind of doing good, and I don't know if some of these people just, like, punched out. You know, Mom called them out for uh, dinner or something. Uh, they had to do homework or what the deal was there, but uh, they kind of abandoned us there towards the end. But me and that Loki guy, good on you. Good on you, sir. So, okay game. Uh, you know, matchmaker, eh. You know, we didn't we didn't have a lot of the damage, maybe that we would like to have seen on our team, but uh, we did have a, a fair amount of beacons. The guys getting eight, four, so pretty good there. Some of those bots I played okay, and some I just kind of really uh, pissed away. Can I say pissed? I think I can. Um, it's my show. 
yeah, we really kind of just threw those guys away. Uh, sometimes I just play super aggressive. I always have. Retreating is usually not like a thing that I ever do. Every once in a while, I, I try to force myself uh, in team play when I run with my squads or uh, clan members. I try to be cognizant of that and not throw my bots away as readily as when I go solo. I don't care. I'm going to burn them up, use them. I like to get in people's faces. That's just how I've always played. So we ran a game. We did okay. We're still kind of getting back in the saddle, back in the swing of things. I'm also kind of relearning to play on a controller. A lot of you know that I played with a Shield tablet for a long time and really enjoyed having the controller set up for that. Uh, then one of the updates, like 3.8 or 3.9, they basically broke the Shield controller's functionality. It uh, just all went sideways and wouldn't really perform like it used to. This is the closest thing I've found to that. So it's a Note 10 Plus, and then I'm using this like Chinese controller I bought on the interwebs uh, to control my on-screen stuff via like this mapping app that it comes with. So works pretty good. Um, if anybody's interested in that, I can uh, certainly talk more about that in another video. So that's it. That is a complete video from yours truly. Kind of getting my feet wet again in the video making and editing process. Later on down the road, we're going to get into some uh, different types of videos, different content. But this was just mostly to explain why I was absent for so long. Again, my apologies, family, real life, job, babies, stuff like that. It gets in the way and sometimes you got to do what you got to do to take care of what's really important. But now I'm back with you making videos again. If you like what you saw, if you like what you heard, you know what to do. I'm not going to bore you to death with all of that like and subscribe subscribe crap. I honestly, I don't really care. I just, uh, I do this because I have fun because I enjoy it and I hope you do too. And as always, uh, until next time, I will see you at the Center Beacon.